Oh, weird. Now it went back to here. All right. Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to our um, Sunday, March 6th hang out. Can you believe it? It's already March 6th. So we had an amazing turnout at the workout yesterday. Hello. It takes months to build these things. So I'm super proud of Miss Brittany, who's on the call right now, because Brittany has reached out to Shana, and the two of them are going to try and start, are going to not try, are going to start running some boot camps close to them, which is awesome. If you need help with the waivers or finding them or anything like that, Margo is the coach you want to talk to. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Margo didn't like it. I just threw her under the bus. I'm kidding. I know I would know where to find them too. I can definitely help you. You can just message in the chat. But Margo has them handy. She can really set them. Mm -hmm. Your name on them, Margo? Yeah. yeah, I just write my name like it's a form and you just I so and so they put their name in and I'm agreeing to do a workout by Beachbody coach or I, I don't think it says that but anyways you put in your name Margot Golly or Brittany Whitney and then you go and then they do the workout but I highly recommend you add a little line in the bottom that said um, approve on or for further ongoing classes where they can initial. So then, because mm -hmm. I don't know if they are supposed to sign a waiver every single time they come, and they might come to your boot camp five times before they sign up as a coach or a customer. So if you have a, a little initial saying that you're that they they agree to this for ongoing workouts, so I, mm -hmm. I add that to mine. Wait, did you, did you um, Margo, you took the Beachbody form waiver form and then just took it into a document and added that onto it, or you wrote that on? I wrote it on. Okay. Yeah. As long as there's something there to cover you so that moving forward, because when I think about it, like if I run a fitness session, I don't get someone to sign a waiver every single time it's for the whole session that they would come. So if you're just offering like future classes, you know, you could even have like in the year 2022 mm -hmm. and then just every year redo, mm -hmm. um, redo those forms That's for people idea. that, that don't, that are new or what have you. So so super proud just, of you, Brett. For actually I just, like, I just added it. That was all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Doing that. And I think you and Shana will have a lot of fun. You'll connect with a whole bunch of people. I think Margo brought like, how many people did you bring yesterday, Margo? Like 10? She definitely won the prize. For the I think there was over <laughs> 20 people there and most of them were Margo's people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think there was about, well, my people brought people too. So I had one, two, three, four, five, but yeah, about 10 or 11, something like that. Yeah a really good way to just get people in because like some people just need something like like just need it to be like in person real type of to be like you know like believe it's actually a thing type of thing or just yeah. like have a couple times and I feel like just after a couple times it'll get them hooked oh 100 percent. and the other thing too is like people have been struggling so much with missing connection with other people right? Because of COVID and the pandemic. And so to be outside with people doing something good for your body is also so good for your heart, your soul, your mind, because like even Cindy, how I got to see you for what, like 40 minutes yesterday. And like, I was so happy for the rest of the day because I got to like actually connect with people that I love and care about, um, yeah. you know? So yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing to build that community and give people a chance to connect when we've been missing it so much. Yeah, the preferred customer that I just got signed up the first day that we did it, I like, like I got her signed up and then I went over to her house and we worked out. We did like two workouts together and it was like her and all her kids. So it was super cool. Yeah, it definitely like hooked. That's the girl that's been on the morning workouts with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. That's actually so going awesome. to at like 5 15 and I'm like oh my gosh but it's been going good but she likes it more because it, like I actually am like really doing it with her so she feels like she like has to do it more so it's nice makes me have to <laughs> yeah absolutely forces us to show up that's why I say everyone should be a coach because mm -hmm. you get that one person and right you're going to show up for yourself even more because oh, yeah. of that one. 
person. So also wanted to give a huge shout out to Maureen this morning because Miss Maureen is like brand new to this community. And um, hello, how many times did Angie Bellmer shout you out last week? Right. Like, come on. Do you know how hard it is to get a shout out from Angie Bellmer? Like, whoa. Max actually had a moment yesterday because I direct messaged <laughs> Angie Bellmer and she was like, you can do that? You can actually like message her and she'll reply. And I was like, yeah, every time I've messaged Angie, she's replied. So I, she did read my message. She hasn't replied yet, but, it's, but she's going to be on our success sub trip. So I'm going to be fangirling. Yeah, her for exactly. Sure. So, so it was, we were on that one-on-one. So huge shout out to you, Maureen, for just like, and, and you're like the, um, you know, walking example of like what this can do for you. And you're just sharing authentically in a way that brings people into your community. So super congratulations there. Melissa hitting Emerald, right? Yeah. Um, so Melissa That's in there, true. we actually had a strategy call yesterday with like Margo and MJ and Melissa and Maureen on like back office and graphical genealogy and sponsorship drill down how to check for the different things and and it was it was really awesome so if anyone ever needs something like that please let us know because I don't mind walking you through like a 15 minute where everything is kind of of training for sure so so yeah lots of shout outs this week right MJ I should have let you shout out Maureen Maureen you're good yeah you're always so ra glowing and radiant know, in the she? sun there with your. She always takes the best pictures. And you wear the best clothes and you're just so trendy. <laughs> and I want to be like you when I grow up. Okay, MJ. <laughs> Max says she does too. <laughs> I'm hoping she's going to do my yeah. hair this, this Wednesday and I'm going to look like her. Okay. Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> that's your, that's, that's goal. your uh, goal there, Mary Jo. Yeah. You got to make it look yeah. like you. We're, we're all aspiring to be you. Um, okay, so the last quick thing I want to talk about today was um, Mar Marina has taken the reins on this gut glow up group. So for anyone who watch isn't, I think most of you on the call know about the, um, the free group starting this week. But for those of you that are watching the recording of this after, it's a free group on Facebook all about the gut health protocol that is coming out on the 14th. 15th. 14th. Wait, 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 wait. 15. 15. 15. Yeah. Okay. So Max and I actually went through the pictures oh. that Christina put in the gut glow up um, group and there's some discrepancy in the pricing. Um, so one of the ones like the first one that went into that um, the first one that went into that chat was bah, 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 the gut glow up, right? Yeah. It says something about like right. this one here, where it's got like <clears throat> on the picture. Oh, are you gonna be able to see it? On the picture, it says what they have. So what they have, it looks like this. And it says what they have, and then it gives you like a free account. So they have a free account. So basically they have nothing. And it says that it's 209.95 and you can tell these are canadian uk and france only, only prices, prices because, of the because of the flags but it's actually not 209.95 it's 186 no it's on the last one 185.95 we know that one right i yes because i saw that one in in there so so there is some discrepancy um so what we're thinking is this one here is actually the correct pricing the one that has uh, like two pictures so there's one on the top and one on the bottom it was one of the last photos that went in and it says like autumn's choice pack which we can't get in canada um because it has the supplements the revitalize and the optimize and then it also has the like uh essentials so if someone has a, a bond membership and if they don't so I'm really, those are the prices that it always is, is like the 185.95 for a challenge pack and then the 155.95 for a completion pack. Um, so those, that, that group kicking off today or tomorrow, um, I've got a bunch of people in there, uh, more people keep being interested in it. So definitely get your people in there, but participate, right? Make sure you're participating, make sure you're showing up, make sure you're checking in on the people that you have in there so that they know that they can be supported, right? So, yeah. So that's it for my announcements. The well, only thing yeah. I'm wondering is, is this with, with or without the ball? Because usually when you add a piece of equipment, 
the price goes up to the 209. Not if it's part of the package though, right? Like if it's actually part, because when nine week control for it came out, it was more because of the ball and the track. But look at job one. Job one's regular price is 295 with the bands. And but promotion price was 186. Yeah, and that's right. what yeah. they'll have it at promotion yeah, yeah, price yeah, yeah, for yeah, us to right. kick it off for the first yeah, couple months, right. right? And then fire and flow will go on promo. Yes. Okay. So yeah. it'll be this one for March and then April and then fire and flow comes out May. end of May. So yeah. yeah. And then Joel. And then Joel in July. Nothing like Joel in July. So yeah, so that's it on on my end. How's everybody else doing? Oh, Cindy, I don't know if you saw, but you won the prize for February for the track. So I need to get you something. Yes, it was you and Max. You were the only ones. Oh, Ashley shares. Ashley does share, but you were the most consistent. So I'm giving it to you um, for the tracker for February. So keep, keep filling out the trackers, do whatever works for you. I literally set up my habit share app with all of the things from the, um, from the success, the bat, the business activity tracker because then it's just easier for me to use it as an app on my phone as it, than it is to log in every single time. I really hope that Beachbody changes it so that we don't have to log in every time to use the tracker. Um, that would be my feed, feedback for my mentor uh, and we'll hopefully see, see that happen. Good morning, Sam. Good nice morning. to see you. Yeah. Good to see all of you. Just yeah. To... It's not working, but that's okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so how's everybody doing what's your plan for the week um how are you feeling about march i know i'm feeling pretty freaking amazing that in what's the day today the sixth in 12 days i'll be leaving on, on a jet, jet plane. plane don't know when i'll be back again because maybe i'll just stay no, I'm kidding. but anyway um yeah how's everybody else doing this morning don't all speak at once Margo. <laughs> we always go to Margo. I know, to default. You always have something to say, Margo. Well, I, I have a question, I guess, to just to make sure that I don't either either I do overlap, but because for good reason, but these um outdoor boot camps that we're doing now, Matt, so we did yesterday, which was the first Saturday of the month. Next week is an online boot camp because it's going to be the co what is coaching. Yep. I want to ask a question about that, but I'm going to go to the next one. And then the next weekend, we're all in the Dominican. And then the 26th, the last Saturday of the month, what are you, what am I, I'll do Cloverdale or what's going on? I, I'm I not coming. Home. Yeah, no, I fly home that day. Yeah, so. me too. Oh, okay. I, okay. So I'll do for, for four extra days, right? So, okay. So I'll just do Cloverdale on my own. That's fine. And then, so I just, I just, I'm just trying to personally for me, I, I like the Pitt Meadows one or the Cloverdale one. I don't know whether all, cause I, it was, it was, I could, I was able to drag out 10 or 11 people to the Pitt Meadows one. Cause it's not that far. And it was at nine o'clock. As soon as I say Maple Ridge or the one <laughs> like farther out, I, I just, I'm out there by myself. So I'd prefer to get as many people to these things as I can. Like strategically, I want to make sure this is working as far as building, you know, momentum and stuff. So if there's, so the next one that Tamara, you said you're going to be doing instructing, where's that going to be? Out here, where we were yesterday. Oh, it is. Okay, good. And that's, that's going to be the, the schools. It's too far for me, right? Like I know. I and we can't do anything out at the schools at, at nine at nine o'clock anyway. and i don't want to work out at eight o'clock in the middle of maple ridge that's maple ridge yeah, maple. in the middle of maple ridge on a saturday morning it's too far like i i have to leave my house by seven apologies to melissa and mary joe on that one so way out maybe. april but i live so way no, out no, no, I'm just, oh just, okay just, 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 we say way out in maple ridge for me, it's way out. Just like if I was to run one close to my house, you guys would be like, peace out. I'm not coming. <laughs> you might come, but yeah, anyway. So, so yeah, April, April, is April 2nd will be Zumba in Pit, in Pit Meadows. 
Well, don't call it Zumba because yeah, then I you're going to scare there. everyone away. No, because I'm already just busy. say like a dance influence. Do you know how? No, I'll just say I'll just say boot camp. But you know how many people have asked for Zumba? So I'll say boot camp. But then uh, when I when people say, oh, I'm interested, in that, and then I'm going to maybe let them know. P.S. It might be Zumba. <laughs> maybe we're not sure. Not not exactly. Well, definitely do vision. just dance, dance your stress away. Just dance, dance bad vibes away. We're definitely yeah. doing that. Yeah. Okay. So 100%. that's, so that, then that will be Saturday the second and then the yep. ninth will be the online thing again. What is coaching? Yep. And then the 16th I'm on my own to do if, if I want to do anything that's Easter weekend. So I can just do whatever, if I want to do one in Cloverdale. And I'm going to do the same. Uh, I'm going to do the same. What? What do you mean? So you can run Cloverdale and I'll run Pit Meadows. On the same day. Yeah, I want to do the. I'm going to do the third, third. But you can do the same because we're different communities. I'll come. Okay. Mark, I'll come on that on that one. You're doing it at nine, right? Yeah. After we can. Okay, so yeah. I'll come to that one, and okay. I'll do with you, and I can do some Zumba at that one too. But um, and, and then we're going to have that, an Easter egg hunt. We'll have an Easter egg hunt too. Oh, okay. After that, I'm going to just be like, uh. If it works until no I commitment. until I move because yeah. I officially bought a place last week. Okay. Yeah. Yay! So, good. Moving May thirtieth. Yeah. Okay. Well, that okay. sounds good. So that, 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 that would be. That. So that'll be fun. So so Zumba on the second of April, and then the online one, and then Zumba on the sixteenth of April, over on our side in Cloverdale, and then the twenty third. I'll figure something out by the time we get to that. That's good. I just need to know sort of in advance because I now have a group of 42 or 43 people in a Cloverdale boot camp Facebook group. Yeah. Who literally are looking for when the next workout is. So that's why I was it. That's why I'm gathering up so many people is because now I've got this Facebook group, Cloverdale boot camp. And I said, okay, we've got a road trip. And I do a couple of lives in there. And I say, we're going to Pit Meadows. This is where it is. And you go down the street and blah, blah, blah. And people show yeah. it. So, okay, that's awesome. Um, so the, okay, now go back to the online thing. Cause I missed the last one. So what time is that at the crack of dawn again? <laughs> uh, I feel like we decided no, that we weren't doing it at seven because we did it at seven yeah, the last too early and it was too early. So I feel like it's at eight. It was eight and are we time. doing it? Are we doing it that early because of the people in the UK? Yeah. Okay. Because it, okay. Cause but nine eight, even. Hmm? Eight's better than seven. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I know that, like, yeah, no, it's fine. So, and and the structure is the workout, and then everybody goes gets a water or whatever and sits down, and we do a little what is coaching webinar. Yeah, I imagine this next one we would do the sample workout from that's what I'm uh, doing for four, four weeks, weeks for everybody because it's out now. Um, okay. Oh, Cindy says we did 7.30. I'll talk to Christina, okay, and we'll see. I would really prefer eight. I know for her it's challenging because Kennedy in the past has had, like, jujitsu at, like, 9 o'clock in the morning. We so I think that's camps. why we're doing the early boot camp, too. So um, we'll put it in the chat and see what, see what, your, what she says, okay? And just a quick question about the, 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 the um, is it? So you do the, you, we all speak or whoever speaks. And is one of the slides still say um, the this university costs would cost eight hundred dollars, but you get it for free? Good. Okay. Yeah, I never liked that. No, it seemed like slice and dice. I don't yeah. know. It just seemed, and especially for you today, if you sign that up, was, get a free. That came from um, Josh Coates. It was a okay. course that Floss did with Josh Coates. And so he was talking about how like we could incorporate like the value of our mentorship and the value of our training into okay. um, you get all of this as part of your package. Okay. Right. So I think that's why Floss was trying it. It just never felt right to me. So no, it felt a little funny because we were all telling our own personal journeys, personal stories. And then all of yeah. a sudden it sort of got into P and E sales stuff or something in my opinion. Like it was just like, that's not, <laughs> Let people know they're getting an eight hundred dollar value for forty nine ninety five for equal payments. 
special for you today. Anyway, you actually sorry. don't know what PNE is. It's that the big exhibition oh. that we have <laughs> a fair here every summer um, with all the rides and the show dogs and the houses that you can win and stuff like that, right? So that's what Margot's referencing there. Sorry. All right. All good. Good. Okay. Yeah. All good. So, yeah. Okay, so that we have a good system there. So Brett, it would be awesome if you could work around like your schedule too, so that you could be on like the coaching mm -hmm. call on the ninth or whatever. I don't know what happened to Margo. Yeah. Margo's stuck in her hoodie. <laughs> like, were you stuck in your hoodie? <laughs> that was awesome. Um, yeah, so we can have that calendar out so that everybody knows like what's coming up and, and what have you. All right. Clear as mud, right? <laughs> Clear as mud. So, who the else bike, wants to Sorry, the bike thing too. I've had yep. a couple people say, Elaine uh, posted on one of the messages about the fact that her bike is making noise and it's very annoying and blah, 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 blah. So when, if people have an issue with the bike, Max, I saw you say, just keep, just keep using it. But if yeah. there is, if it continues, who do they reach out to mix or? Actually, it's funny you should say that, Margot, because there's something on the screen that says um, these are QR codes that you can actually like capture on your phone that will connect you with um, like a, a like specialist. A, a, like a I, bike yeah, so that if you have any problems with with your bike, whatever it's, but it's on the screen. I'll see if I can go down after this and and uh, send it in the group. Yeah, because also Erin said there was zero instructions with the bike. She said there was instructions oh, with the bike. Oh, it walks you through it. As soon as you turn it on, it walks you through how to set it up. Like, it's okay. pretty foolproof. If they're all just mini videos. It's yeah. like, get to know your bike or start with your bike. And it literally has like three minute videos on how to pair your sensor, how to pair your heart rate monitor, how to set your bike up, but how to like... Okay. Anything, anything like, everything yeah height distance handlebars like everything is there it's all on your it's all on the screen it was okay, very sorry to follow along because she saw paperwork for the band and i think paperwork for one other oh no it's all it's on, on the actual paperwork for, everything's the everything's electronic. all on the tablet okay that's what i said yeah. but she said i haven't checked into it yet anyways it's fine it's, it's all, all there, there. yeah all there Okay. Super fun. My ass was on fire. Let me just say that. I think I'm in pretty good shape and riding that thing. I was like, oh my God, I'm dying. Oh, oh my God, my ass. Oh run, my God. I can run for 10 kilometers, but I couldn't last 15 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Bike. Yeah, I can teach Zumba for an hour and a half, but it couldn't last 15 minutes on the bike. So yeah, it was, it was intense. I'm excited for more of those workouts for sure. Yeah. How's everybody else doing? Jazz, nice to see you. Sounds like you're in a good rhythm here now. Yeah, I, I finally feel like I'm in a good rhythm where I can get work done, get my workout done. And like, I've got those little time slots of the day. Usually it's well, Briella's like napping or whatever. I've gotten used to just like messaging people, screenshotting, then kind of cataloging it in my whatever, however I have to do it. So yeah, it feels a lot better. That's good. Really. Very happy to hear that. You're I'm definitely it. jealous of all these workouts that you guys are doing in BC and like I'm stuck here. I want to be with you guys so bad. Like, but you need to come to out one. Come yeah. I'm just going to have yeah. to like do a little uh, weekend trip or something here, maybe in the summer when it's not so, when it's nicer. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to work out now. For sure. <laughs> definitely no driving on the highways right now. That's for sure. No, definitely not. We got a, like a huge dump of snow here. So I don't know. We got like, I don't know how many centimeters it's like back to winter. I remember when I lived in Calgary and one May, I think it was like May 6th or something. And we got like 26 centimeters of snow. Yeah, I know. It just the next day was like, yeah, the next day was like 22 degrees out. It was <laughs> yeah, <crazy>. that's <laughs> Alberta. <laughs> Thankfully. My mom always used to say, you don't like the weather, just wait, wait an hour, it'll change. Right? Yeah, I know. It's like super sunny out today and everything's going to melt and be like a slushy mess today. So whatever. Yeah, for sure. How's everybody else doing? Yes, MJ. I had to ask you yesterday just about Summit. And um, <clears throat> for those of us that may not be going, do you think we're still going to have a virtual 
um, option like they did for NLC for people that couldn't go? Do you think that they're going to still have something for people who can't be there? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't, if they, like, I think they probably will, but the summit recordings are always recorded anyway and putting the coach online office. So we always have access to them after. Um, but I definitely think there will be some sort of like virtual option, whether it's in the champions page or something like that, where people could hop on. Happening yeah. in the announcements and stuff like that. Yeah. So I imagine fun if anybody around like locally can't go and to still do something like Christina did right um, in the last few years to still get together for us local people. That yeah. Can't be there. Yeah, we'll yeah. figure something out. Yeah. Most definitely. I actually had a question about that. Um, I know that there was like a question about knowing if you got the right ticket for Summit. <clears throat> um, Someone asked about the transferable ticket and then the non-transferable ticket. And I looked and mine wasn't the transferable one. I'm wondering what the difference is, like what, what that means. It means that you are locked in, that you cannot sell your ticket to someone else. Okay. I would have got that for a lower price than someone who bought a transferable ticket. It's usually about $50. Oh, a okay. So, right, it, so just, it really... Yeah, it would just be for peace of mind. Like maybe someone wa really wanted to go and they were like, you know, I just, I can't 100% commit because of COVID or whatever, pandemic or whatever it is, right? Okay. Um, they would have for their own peace of mind paid the extra for a transferable ticket. Oh, okay. So okay. The tickets that came out were not transferable. Okay. Yeah, because I got the non-transferable one because I mean, I'm for sure going to go like regardless. So, but. Yeah, that's yeah, I just want to know like I, what that meant. Yeah, I got a non-transferable one too. So, okay. and just like in the past two years, if if by some freaking like that it couldn't happen, they would refund you the money. But if it's your choice not to go and you have a non-transferable ticket, you don't get it back. Right. right. Makes sense. And just for like those people on our team, Clarissa and I did book extra rooms. We're not going to guarantee who gets what room, but like don't freak out about rooms yet because um, I don't even know. Did we book three each? Two? Oh, you booked two and I booked two? Okay. No, no. So um, no, the year before we booked four. This year only you were in Success Club. So you booked two. So there's one for us, and then we have one extra. You didn't book a room? Uh, no, remember that I don't, I don't qualify for the, the VIP. You book a hotel room. I thought you booked No, room. no, no, not this time. It was the year, two years ago that we had four. So what I would recommend for our, for coaches that don't have a room yet that are still interested in going to Summit is Closer to Summit, Christina will actually make like a, it'll be, you know, WhatsApp chat or a Facebook group or something like that, where it's people can then chat about getting rooms together to um, help with the costs, right? You want to keep your costs down. You literally spend no time in your room at Summit. You go and you shower and you sleep. And that's about it. Like it's go, 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 go nonstop there very opposite to success club trip success club trip is relax 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 summit is just like intense non-stop be prepared to be on your feet exhausted happy um but not rested yeah definitely you don't <laughs> come out of uh, that trip rested no, at all at all but you come out with it and so much. I, I don't know who watched um the call of angie the mastermind on my, uh, monday she said that we're gonna get to be on the number one team photo on stage on I the know. last day. So I'm so freaking excited. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be awesome. amazing, awesome, right? So that's, I would wait to, until it's closer, until we have a Facebook group or something open about lodging, unless you've already booked your own space, okay? And then Christina will share the story about her how her first summit, she shared the room with five other girls. 
I think. And she slept on the floor and she woke up and there was a cockroach in her hair. Oh, yeah. And she's like, you just do the things that you need to do. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not sleeping on the floor and having cockroaches in my hair. No freaking way. <laughs> I am well beyond that phase of my life. So, yes. Awesome. How's everybody else doing? Thoughts? Excited about gut health? Who's yes. going to do the gut health program? Can't wait. I'm going to do it when we come back. From you know, we what products we could use instead of what they have, what um, they have in the U.S. Oh, Max, you were going to put that oh, uh, together. Yeah, right? I've got the. Um, I they haven't given us any specific brands, but I know what we need to look, look for. for. So it's and I'll write it in the chat. It's a three billion um, probiotic, um, and it's a lipase. Um, it's the three different digestive enzymes. Can't think of it. Three are, but I'll put it in the group, and then we just have source out a quality quality a thorn is a good brand name but i don't know i have to i'm gonna do some research on that so i'll i'll figure it out i like that one. Mm -hmm. and for those of you in the u.s you don't have to worry about that because you get the actual supplements right we don't get them here so we have to look for other ways to to get them which is fine just so you know and i actually just so think that they, they might now that they have the gut health program, they might actually push for those supplements in Canada. Because when I talked to Arnaud the last time about Ultimate Reset, because it's the same thing, right? It's optimize and it's uh, revitalize or something. Yeah. Or no, revitalize? Revitalize and, and optimize. optimize. Okay. Yeah. And they're in the Ultimate Reset. So now that we have another program, and what Arnaud told me is because the Ultimate Reset is such a small part of the overall um what Beachbody makes in a year like the percentage of sales is so small that it does it's not cost effective for them to push something like that into Canada into the UK into France it's not because it's not because our government like won't let it it's because Beachbody hasn't actually tried because of how much it costs to get those supplements in the other place and it's such a small revenue piece of revenue for the company but now that we have gut health I'm thinking they probably will do it because there will be a lot more interest in getting those two supplements without having to look for them. So hopefully we can keep our fingers crossed, right? On that um, has anybody been doing the gut protocol on the champions page, like with Autumn at all? Like I took some major notes. Like I actually learned a lot with like that first video for sure. And so it gave me more of like, let's talk about talking points and getting into the free group and stuff. And it's pretty good. It's pretty awesome if you haven't done it yet. So, yeah. Yeah. So maybe go through, I need to catch up on those and Angie, the Achievers Club. The Achievers Club, yeah. Yeah, videos for sure. It's definitely recommend. And anybody can be in that club. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the prizes, right? Yeah. If the, it would be your, if my, our part personally sponsored coaches reach those ranks, they would let us know so we can do we can do prizes for them which makes sense for sure yeah yeah anyone else ash are um, you getting a bike next month this month yep i already like set up my space right here like i'm clearing it out and getting ideas and posts ready to just like you know run with it so yeah, yeah. getting pretty yeah, excited pretty amazing for sure mm-hmm Anyone else? Questions? Who's going to get the questions? Question. Yeah. Sorry. So I know oh. that um, like when Maureen joined last month, she got the February promo codes, you know, for the whole month, which was awesome. <clears throat> My other new coach is wondering if she has anything for a discount for somebody that is. So that's Michelle, uh, Maxine, that has somebody interested. And she's asking me if she can give a discount or whatever. Do all coaches receive those three promo codes when they join? No, right? No, they, they do. And if they don't, something. okay, so if they, I never get the email in my account with the promo code. I mean, too, it goes to the junk mail or whatever, right? No, it doesn't even go to my junk mail. It is nowhere to be found. I have to phone and get them to give me the codes. No, but it's new coaches now when they get signed up, they get a, they get oh, three they? codes for $10 Dude, off. Right? Yeah. 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 Oh. And it comes as part of like their welcome oh, to, I know. to get to get people started on their journey. It's been a while now that-, that Sometimes that, for mine, yeah, okay. If people don't get the codes, they have to contact Beachbody directly to get them. 
Oh, for some reason they don't I get all the emails I have everything turned on and codes never come to me so they always go to Clarissa's email but not mine so I don't I'm, I have no idea why so now I just when I know first yeah now when, when there's I know there's a code coming I always just phone and get the get the code itself yeah well, um with the gut uh, protocol free group yeah. Is that something that's going to be open, like kind of all the time? So you can kind of continually add people kind of throughout, or is that just going to be just for the five days, do you think? I don't imagine that it would close the group, but I just imagine that the posting in the group would shift. So if you're right. adding people to the group, you would have to tag them on posts. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Simple okay. enough. Yeah. Okay. Which there's no issue with that. It's like in the right. first book, you know, I added a new coach in there the other day and tagged her on the trainings to start off with. So it's not, okay. it's not a big deal. Just, yeah. They won't be actively getting notifications for it. Yeah. Now's your chance. Okay. I'm a little shy to talk about this one. But um, I think I'm at the point with my company that, that I can start talking about it a bit more publicly. Um, so um, I was going to reach out to some people individually, but I think, yeah, I, I can be a bit more open about it now. Has anyone in this group had an issue where the company, uh, your, your job, um, your nine to five or whatever, has a conflicting um, or requires you to be completely transparent? Yeah. Um, would you guys be willing to share a little bit about how you handled that? Here's my situation is uh, it was an employment agreement, but I, I read it from a, as long as it's not a conflict of interest perspective. And um, recently we were just kind of in a group meeting made aware like, hey, you like you need to report everything. I'm also, as most of you know, um, uh, before I joined Beachbody, my passion was to have a life coaching business where I'm helping people out and supporting them through a group framework um, for dealing with their anxiety, especially in the workplace setting. And so um, I've been trying to build that infrastructure. And so when this came up, I started to have conversations around whether I can do that. And so we've had more conversations with my company about that, but they've been very explicit about if you're involved in another business. So I've been a little bit shy to be like, well, what does that look like with Beachbody? So did you guys have to get a waiver? Did you have to just make them aware? If you feel comfortable and you could share about your experience, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So Sam, are they actually saying that, Mar I know Margo will have a few words. Are they actually saying that it, it's not, it, like it's any sort of business? Like I can understand how if you were, like, so Max, for example, is work, was working at Good Life Fitness, right? For many, many years as a personal trainer, yeah. as a group fitness instructor. And they had a rule where you couldn't be like doing other things in the health and fitness industry, yeah. which I can kind of see that because the two, I, actually I don't because I feel like it's such a lack mindset, right? Like you're supporting more people, more people are going to come to the gym, more people are going to do this stuff. Like it's, it's such a backwards mindset for for me anyway, but I can see why they would have created that to prevent poaching or just unethical. The gym because what I did in that case though, is I focused on the nutrition side of Beachbody because that was something that Good Life didn't offer. So really I would say when I was at Good Life, I focused mostly on the products and the nutrition programs because that was how people were missing and didn't mm -hmm. really talk about the fitness side and actually I wasn't even to be honest with you doing fit, the fitness side until I left so I just have a lot to say on it but. yeah so that I mean I can see that but it, it it's not that way it's like just in general well, that's the perspective I had from the beginning I've been with this company for over three years and I looked at it like yeah, I wasn't going to go and consult in oncology for another company that's that's yeah. that's there um, but I never thought in a million years um, but what has happened is that they've asked me to explicitly um, to put in my HR portfolio the number of hours I'm committing to this outside of work and the framework that it's going to um, look like. And so I didn't really bring up Beachbody at that time because I thought the issues that they're having with it is time and the fact that I would be making 
a salary elsewhere. So then I would need to report that. So it got Does that a, have to do with your company though. If you're legally reporting your income to, I feel like that's them. That's an, an almost an invasion of privacy because if you are legally reporting your income to the government, which you have to do with Beachbody because in Canada we get a T4A, right? So it's, it's going to come saying, this is how much money I made this year. There's no hiding from it. It goes directly to the government. How is that? I, I honestly feel like that's an invasion of privacy because what does it matter what you're making there and what you're choosing to do in your free time if it's not? And the other thing that's so freaking backwards to me, sorry, don't, you just got me on my soapbox. It's <laughs> oncology, right? Yeah. So it's cancer stuff. Hello, we are helping people live happier, healthier lives and so that they don't that, get cancer. I have a patient. Yeah, I don't have a patient facing role in my work. I'm, I'm assigned, as I said, with documents all day long. And so I wrote a really nice, very long, purposely, purposefully long uh, email to HR <laughs> to say like, you yeah, know, I shouldn't have to justify the number of hours I put into my personal development because I, yeah. other people have other live parts of their lives that they have to commit to. And this is what I commit myself to. And so they were really receptive to that it's just, I'm at a place where it's, I think I've gotten an approval to run based on the framework that I shared with them. I didn't sell and share anything about how much I expect to make, et cetera. But now, because they're really poking at my, how many, many hours are you going to commit to this kind of thing? I'm just afraid to bring up the second layer of this because in my, in my group uh, support framework, for people who have anxiety, fitness and nutrition is a very important element of overcoming your anxiety. <laughs> and so I, it was a perfect connection for me, especially in the way that I want to do my coaching in Beachbody. And so I'm, I'm trying to figure out now, I'm, I'm letting that breathe, uh, but I also don't wanna fall into a preferred customer, but I'm also afraid of making an income. So I. Yeah, I, I don't know if anyone else has. Margo, did you want to yeah. say a few words just because you? Sure. <laughs> um, I, uh, sorry. <laughs> what what kind of company do you work for? Sorry, I probably missed that. You probably said. Biotech and oncology. So and uh, they don't want you to be a health and fitness advocate? No, they the role that I take on is uh, very intense and the hours are very intense and everyone is brain dead at the end of the day. They have this expectation of their employees basically to come and to should be able to give your all. So the issue with it they have with having um, a uh, side business is that you're, it's just splitting your attention, right? But to mm -hmm. me, it's like, what's the difference if you have a family and if you like, well, it just, it doesn't really make sense. I, I think I kind of got around that with my letter, but. So, so when I first, I hear what you're saying. So when I first started with the LARC group, I blatantly put it on my resume. I said, I am a, a I, I don't know whether it says Beachbody might, but it says an online fitness and nutrition coach focusing on women and men over 40. Blah, that was it. It was on there. Boom, here you go. Do you want? me to come in for an interview or not that's what I do that's part of my world that's who I am um and that is one of the reasons why they wanted me to come in and I work with the neuroscientist Dr. Ryan Darcy you probably might know him um and a lot of brain injury it, it, it the fitness part now has almost taken over like BC Cancer Agency ladies they do not because we're all separating and soon because that company has bought our whole floor so they're all upset because they won't have their workouts to do. And I'm actually going the polar opposite way than what you're saying and starting to think about um, corporate fitness for corporations and going and taking a beautiful presentation that Tamara had sent me to look at, like to copy possibly to the HR departments. And I showed it to my boss yesterday, uh, yesterday, the day before, I guess, day before Rowena who's the VP of healthcare innovations at uh, the LARC group and health and technology district. And I showed her this little sort of quick little PowerPoint that Tamara has. And um, she said, wow, that looks beautiful. And she said, why don't you talk to LARC group HR? Why don't you talk to HTC HR? You have to sort of flip the script and you, you, I think maybe because they're sort of bullying you, it sounds like to me 
into you need to do what we tell you to do and you can't have that's just that actually you could go to labor relations if you wanted to because they can't dictate what you do when you leave the office and the fact of the matter is that your brain power is work is is on overdrive when you do have a workout like and i can dr ryan darcy will write you a note about that he is a huge advocate for working out exercise oxygen for the brain all that stuff so some you it instead of sort of feeling like you need to sort of you know what i'm an online fitness and, and nutrition coach and what, what are you saying that's, yeah that's where i am with my mindset because i advocated for myself for the for my um anxiety solutions business and that is really really i was like that is for me that i need to get that approved and so they come back and now i'm at the stage where there's some breathing room everyone's okay i think i they noticed with my letter that i'm not going to give up on this i spoke with myself this is so important to me that it would have been a case of like okay you know what i need to figure out what i need you know I, if that means mm -hmm. going somewhere else and stating it in my resume first to make sure that people know i'm doing this it's not a conflict if anything, it's helping people in their professional roles, especially those that work in offices nine to five. And that's why I have a deep passion about it. Um, and so now that that's been approved, I've just, there's this breathing space. And now I say, okay, so what do I do with Beachbody? Because I have a T4 coming in. I am making an income and technically by my employment agreement, I have to say, I'm also, by the way, involved in Beachbody as a fitness coach. And so, yeah, that's, that's the next step. For me and i'm just afraid they're going to be like whoa 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 you know we said that the time thing is an issue and and now you're telling us that you're involved in two different businesses on the side. It's like, i find so it I, so interesting because do, do they there are many people that go home from work every day and drink their faces off yeah <laughs> and on the time and what they yeah. do in the evenings with their time like it's so that is so backwards um, the celebration that even though I feel like I'm still working towards a resolution here, I just, I did stop. And, and that's where that, sorry, that um, voicemail that I sent you, that voice message I sent you had a lot of background noise. But what I was saying is also that I'm looking at this as a celebration too, because it reminds us to step in and advocate for ourselves and advocate for areas of life that people do not step into because it is challenging and it's challenges like this, whether you want to work out every day and you're like, Oh, I just can't figure out or else whenever anything that comes and puts a stop sign right in your path, that makes you feel like you either have to turn around to finally be at a place where you can advocate for that. I think is something worth celebrating. So, you know, I think I'll get through it. Um, and if that means if my status drops, to preferred customer and I have to come back, I'll figure it all out. But um, I'm really happy to know that, you know, that's a really great idea, Margo, flip, flip the script. Um, when I first joined Beachbody, I was actually thinking the same thing. I was like, "How this is the greatest thing ever. My company should know about this. And actually they should just buy it all through me. And like 70 people should all have access. That's That was my plan. And, like, and I started actually, I got like four people from my company to uh, get uh, a year subscription and like try out Shakeology and stuff. And so it was all working out. And now I'm like, okay, this is a hurdle. Let's celebrate, let's, let's celebrate the hurdles so that we can overcome it, you know? Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing your experiences. Thanks for bringing it, Sam. I know it's a hard conversation and it's, it's not, um, yeah, not easy to navigate. It's definitely mind blowing some of the backwards policies that people have in place, right? I don't know if like Cindy had an experience yesterday. I'm not going to shout her out, but the message she sent to me, like that she received, I was, I was like, I was gobsmacked reading the message. And for me, it's it comes from a place of people perpetuating the fear of what they don't know. You know, they don't know what this looks like for someone else and they've heard bad things. So they perpetuate this, this fear out of a place of concern and it, it just doesn't create anything good, right? So, so yeah, really interesting how, but we get to be part of the change. We get to be part of, of making that difference and making the change in people's lives and in businesses and in how people think of, you know, what we do. And, and I, I love that. Doing Can I great. say one, one, sorry. Yeah, yeah, please. Sorry, I just was gonna offer one more 
piece of advice, maybe, it, how, however comfortable you feel with it. When you go in to a meeting with HR or whatever, if you take a book and a piece of, and a pen and, um, and they say, well, we are concerned that you're after hours you're working. Okay, so just let me get that right. So you're saying that I can't do, you're, you're not wanting me to do anything in the evening when I'm at home with my family. I'm, I'm not allowed to do, and you're, re, you're pretending. So just so I'm clear, just so I know what you're asking, just, I, I know that sounds fine because I think this is a great organization and I want to continue to work for you, but I just want to know the rules. And so I'm just, so you're saying I can't do anything in the evening in my own home with my kids and family. Okay, just let me write that down. Seriously, I mean, it sounds childish, but when you repeat to a company, especially who's maybe trying to bully you a bit, but you have to do it in a way that it sounds like you're almost on their side and you're with them and you're just so I'm clear, because I don't want to make any errors. And when you say that kind of stuff and you're writing it down and they're like, oh shit, like, I've just basically told her I've taken away her freedom and she could take this to labor relations and we're screwed. Yeah. Sort of it's a it's a it's a kind acknowledgement of saying they're they have no right to say what they're saying, but in a nice way. Oh really? Oh okay. All right, just let me write that down. I included it. I put it in I put a big paragraph in the letter for that. And I, to be honest, I was kind of blown out of my seat when it got resolved, at least for the framework of the business that I'm working on, um, I, how quickly it got resolved. And I think that's the main reason I, you know, they wanted it in writing that I would not be working on this during work hours. I get it. They wanted it in writing that I would not be, you know, but I did have in there, like I did put a thing about, are you saying people can't take their kids to their programs after work? Like, is that, is that, you know, that's not really, uh, and I don't have, you know, I don't have to justify that I don't have kids, but like, what are you saying uh, about how people spend their time on social media? And so the other element of it was we're um, scrutinizing what people do on social media, which I think is just such a fine line in the corporate world. Um, I mean, because yeah, you should not be doing bad things that I mean, we see this all the time. Some mayor goes and does something absolutely stupid and then they have to resign because even though that's on their own time, their reputation. So I get it, but you're like health and fitness? Yeah. Promoting strategies to overcome your anxiety? <laughs> like, I don't understand. How is this against our mission? And I wrote that, how is like this aligns with our mission. Anyway, so it's been a, it's been, I've been a bit quieter on social media until I, resolve this and now I just have to figure out do I even tell them about Beachbody do I just conf do I just say you know at the end of the day you know it's connected to the business that you did already approve and just leave it at that you know I so you I, just leave it at that because it's not like you're you are so integrated with your life coaching and the Beachbody because with the life coaching if someone needed the outlet of fitness and nutrition you would connect them with Beachbody but it's not so they're not separate it's like one big Sam's umbrella of how I'm going to help support. Yeah. Well, and how do they even, how do they even like say something like that? Cause like for you to function properly at work, you need to not have your anxiety. You need to feel energy, energetic and stuff, which in, and like good brain health, which means diet, nutrition, working out. Like, I don't know how that could even compromise your. But that's the thing. I think I, I, it was, it was hard to bring up because I'm always like the sensitivities around this, but you know, we might come across bringing coaches in that struggle with the same thing. Like they're like, oh, I don't know if my employers, you know, or, or I don't know the steps I need to take. So it's, I, I, in the end, that's kind of the reason I wanted to share it here because you're absolutely right, Jasmine. Like we need to really remind ourselves to step into that place of advocacy that this is beneficial in all aspects of life. I mean, I don't saying that even sounds weird. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> like, you know, so, um, so. Can I just I, say I, one quick thing again? Sorry. Um, no. So this just happened this week. Um, I hopefully am going to have success club four soon. Uh, but one of the women is where I work from where I work, HTC Health Tech Connects with Dr. Ryan Darcy. And she wants to get the total solution pack. And I was telling her it's about 200 bucks between 200 and 250. I just don't, I just say 200, 250. And she said, 
oh, okay, that's okay. So, all right, yeah, I'll probably get that because uh, we get $200 per quarter on our extended health. So when I order that, I'm going to hand in my invoice. Like companies should, most companies, so don't, don't pull back on talking to people. And in fact, instead, take this as, does your company support health and fitness programs or do they pay for gym memberships or do they pay for, because some people on their extended health, they get coverage for this. So that's what she's going to do. She's going to purchase the challenge pack, hand in the invoice to HR, HR will reimburse her. And the only part that she will end up having to pay. So it's a write-off for the company. The company has a write-off for supplying their uh, um, employees with a health and fitness program of some kind. Then she gets the health and fitness program. She does have to claim it on her 2023 income tax as a taxable benefit, but it's only 200 bucks. So the chance maybe she'll owe 40 bucks on it, maybe. And so in essence, there she's paying nothing. And it's a benefit here for the company. It's a benefit for her. She's got it for a year. You create a group, Fortis Fit Club or whatever the company is, and you put a few people in there and you help them stay healthy. Like you again, you gotta flip the script with this one. You have to, because it they, they're, it sounds like they're they're living in the past and wake up and smell the roses. We're moving on. Yeah, 100%. Thanks, team. <laughs> I totally welcome. Agree. On that note, Max, get over here. We have to do a picture. I think I think Lovely and Briella are like talking to each other secretly through the camera. I think really that's oh, what's happening. I think that we are just like the place where love and Briella can be friends. That's oh my it. God, that's right? so cute. <laughs> We'll sign off this morning. Thanks so much, everybody, for being on. We love you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Crush that glow up, the gut glow group Bye -bye. this week, okay? Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>